All right, here we go. And the green flag is out. Tour underway. Aiden Shepard in the five car. Off to a great start. Oh, wow, that's pretty. That's a nice camera angle. In the turn one they go. Shepard, Sammy Sabre Jr. Battle for third. Brad Cheston gets out. Very clean start. No one is crashing anyone yet. No one's lost their front wing or wheel or their entire car yet. Sammy Saber Jr. Aiden Shepard, both drivers have run up front before, but have yet to win a race in this series. But Sammy Saber Jr. for his first win ever. Already putting the pressure on Aiden Shepard. Get inside. Long straightaway. DRS and driving, although DRS not available here, and he knocks over the pylon. But he's taking the lead once again. Sammy Saber Jr. out in front. Brad Cheston on the outside of Aiden Shepard. Ferrari winning, and oh no, he knocks over the pylon. They won at, at the Fuji Speedway, the Japanese Grand Prix. And yeah, Shepard sitting on pole today. They're trying to get win number two if they can. But Brad Tristan locking up the brakes. Don't want to hit back into Sammy Sabre Jr. Most of these guys do have experience at this racetrack. And here they come. Up the hill, into the first corner, hard on the brakes. No one has crashed yet. Yeah, all, all cars are still on the track. Not making a pit stop. Oh, look at this. Oh, he's on top of him. My god. Lightning blaze. That was crazy. Goes right by on the outside. Alexander Rowe having to back out. Oh, of course, Kyle kind of cut the course there. Yeah, those corners are tricky. Gotta go to the left, to the right, left again, to the right. Chaos, absolute chaos. DRS now available to drivers. Brad Cheston overdrove the corner. And he'll lose the lead. Not quite. He hangs on. DRS is on. And we get the jump of Brad Cheston. Here comes Aiden Shepard. Well, you got a gun on the brakes. Someone lost something. I don't know who. Someone lose anything, or did I just see, or am I just seeing things? Someone must have lost something. Who's got a pit? No, so far nothing. Okay, so I'm just seeing things. Aiden Shepard back out in front. Not a DRS zone. Well, it's not really a long straightaway here. Okay, here we go. Got a short straightaway. Slight advantage. Coda is actually not one of the, uh, not that big of a track compared to the others, but actually it's almost as big as some of the tracks. Still long, really long. Actually, just barely a little bit shorter than the usuals. These corners are just absolute chaos. Gives a driver a good challenge though. Tony Newman sitting in second. There's Kenny Johnson. Fourth right now. He's gonna have a gonna have a good run here. I got some big orange uh, pylons to tell us what turns it at. That was turn ten, this is turn eleven. But right now I turn eleven, I think. Yeah. Well, I think they're racing cleaner because they all have experience at the racetrack. Maybe here comes Brad Cheston. Yeah, that uh, that open wheel race, that Indy car race, Panasonic Indy car. Oh, look at this! Whoa, we're really high up. Can still hear the engines from here. But yeah, that's the Indy car race we had. 
was just uh, they just kept ramming into each other. That's a crazy last lap that was. But what a track this is. Of course, it looks a lot better on our factor too, and whatnot. You know the advantages. Uh, Chester nearly ran in the back of Newman. Oh, and there he goes. He got into him in the last corner. But he can't use DRS. But he's using it anyways. Brad Chester will still have an advantage. Because he has the draft. Into turn one. A little hit again. Made it a less noticeable. Right on board here. Oh, here he goes, here he goes! Oh, man. Yeah, it's really tricky. You don't really want to pass there. You can't make the move. Or, if you don't have a choice, if you have a choice, then it's best that you don't make the move. They yeah, try to squeeze his way under, or on the outside, and you're gonna lose it. You have to correct. This big, long straightaway, this is a good place to pass, of course. Uh, he's gonna get him right here. There he goes. No blocking for Tony Newman. He knows he, he has an advantage here. Not the only straightaway. And Brad Chesson out in front. Aiden Shepard locks up hard. He's trying to catch up. He is closing. His teammate, Zachary Fitzwater Sr. In fourth. Aaron John Steele, our championship leader, in fifth. Oh, and gets hit by Max Anderson, and he's lost the front wing. Alright, that's a first, I think. Yeah, that's gotta be a first. Because everyone else is still pretty bunched up. Not what Anderson needs, it's he's locked up. Oh, and he locks up, and that also causes, um... Who is that? I think it's, uh... Seven... Oh, it's Cam. Just spun right out, because of that. Andrew Johnson now in 10th place. Gotta catch up to, uh, to Aaron John Steele here. Cannot finish it behind him again. Second to last race. So oh, over the curb. Oh my god, over the curb again. That was John. Uh, no, his lightning blaze again on top of somebody. This time it was on Matt Haas. Those well, more cars having ram into each other. Go back to our leaders here. Brad Chesson's got a pretty good lead over Tony Newman. Ferrari's third and fourth. They found something very late in the season. But they can still go. They can go for wins at this point. Or not try to hurt not to finish last. I think Renault's back in last. Oh, right in front of your teammate. Careful. Aaron John Steele going to take one spot away. Anderson is up back out on the racetrack. Oh, locking up and yeah, uh, Jack Legacy. Rear wing is gone. Oh, he got the pit. Someone's front wing and it's Noodles. Oh, that was another one. Stepping Oaks in a 14. Anyone else? Yep. Salmon Oscan. Front wing. And those four will go down pit road. Twenty laps to go, and uh, Fitzwater Sr. gets jump on both sides, but he's trying to get one back over the curbing. Doesn't on top of on top of someone though. Down to seventh. Sammy Sabre Jr. is eighth, Andy Johnson ninth, and Matt Haas tenth. Josh Rush is in fourteenth. Gotta find a way up up there. As Aaron John steals in third place. Tony Newman and Brad Justin. Round of over Tony Newman. Mm -hmm. 
He was climbed to sixth. Sammy Saber, Andrew Madhaus, Kenny Johnson. Lightning Blaze, Chris Kyle, Alexander Rowe, Josh Roger got two championship contenders. Running, in the, running outside of the top ten, out of points. But of course, points is not enough. They have to finish ahead of our points leader, Aaron John Steele. Having another good race, currently in third all alone. So right now he can relax a bit and try to chase down Tony Newman later on. Up into turn one once again. And once again. Oh, 2.2, 2.1, 2 under 2 seconds now. Tony Newman chasing down Brad Cheston. Aaron John Steele's closing on Newman. He's on his rear wing. Well, they were the goals close the gap pretty quick. Gotta have a good race, beat the others. That's all he's gotta do. That's point seater to the inside. And he clears him. He goes right in front. Doesn't ram, in, ram into the back of him. Aaron John Steele to second place. If he gets this win. Gonna be a big points lead. Andrew Johnson now battling with Fitzwater Senior for seventh place. Man, does it get tight? These guys do not want to give each other room at all. Try to pin them down as much as they can so they hop over the the turtles and uh, forcing the checkup or crash. There's Joshua Rush. Needs more than just a good run here. Alexander Row 2 as he goes right by him. Contact! Great save. Well, more locking up. It's Matt Haas who spins out. But he keeps on going. Doesn't create a huge stack up. See how tricky that is. Very tricky to get by. Right, we'll finally have a cup race here. And it looks like Lightning Blaze has to pit. No front wing. Someone has to, that means, well, not really. I was going to say someone's got to lose a rear wing. But that's not always the case. Aiden Shepard trying to get back into the podium. To the inside. It's a nice long straightaway. Just perfect. Aaron John Steele has closed in on Brad Cheston. Cheston has come close a few times. Monza looks like it was going to be it, but no it wasn't. Here's our new rival Fitzwater Sr. has won the race. Though Brad Cheston did beat him after spitting him out. But Brad Cheston, when will he get this win? Can he do it? And will it be here on home? Aaron John Steele trying to get it. And uh, Patrick Mew has moved up to fourth place. Plenty of room. Andrew Johnson in eighth. Inching his way forward. Joshua Rush is in tenth place here. Battles with Chris Kyle. As Kyle tries to get through, slight contact. Another one, it's like wheel to wheel, and Kyle gets by. Move back to the front. Aiden Shepard. On Aaron John Steele. And he was there. He was closing on Brad Tristan, but it looks like he lost it. Looking inside. No DRS rated. Aaron John Steele. And he takes it. Takes second place away. 
So there's the rest of the back of the pack for all the wreck race cars. There's Alexander Road 12th, Josh Rush 11th. So all our seniors dropped to 8th place. Andrew Johnson, Sammy Saber, Tony Newman, Patrick Mew, and there's Aaron John Steele. Now in third. And here comes Aiden Shepard closing in. Ferrari continuing the momentum it looks like. Started on pole. And Shepard once again has a fast race car. One, one and a half. Almost under. Or, no. Really gotta be careful there. Down to 1.3, 1.2 around there. And back to two seconds. Brad Tristan, Brad, Brad Tristan got through it better and okay, really on the brakes. Not DRS. Then two seconds. New Newman fight for fourth. Andrew Johnson is up to six. Trying to chase down Aaron John Steele. Will definitely be a interesting, will be a great championship battle if Andrew Johnson can get ahead. But now Fitzwater Sr. slingshot right by. Cannot afford a bad race, bad finish. Can't let Aaron John Steele finish ahead. All these championship contenders need to make something happen today. And it has to be today to make it easier and more exciting. When we go to Abu Dhabi for the season finale. Tony Newman and Patrick Mew is also closed in within DRS. Three-way battle for second place. Brad Tristan's enjoying this. Slow traffic. No, okay, same thing as again. Guess those are just the shadows. Man, you can really lose the car here. Taking too much curbing. You can see all the skid marks on the curbing. And Tony Newman now up to fourth place. Drops Aaron John Steele fourth. Giving Andrew Johnson just one more, one more spot closer. And there he is, Andrew Johnson. Had a few mediocre races, but not too far back from points. 210, 212 into the corner, and no one runs in the back of each other and launches someone into the air. Just two spots away. Will these two guys get together? Or will it be clean? I think it will be clean. To the outside. Uh, Fitzwater Sr. up to 6. What a move. Matt Haas is in 8th. Alexander Rowe. Sammy Saber Jr. now holds the last spot. Josh Rogers falling to 17th. He might have crashed or just fell back. And uh, Alexander Rowe is currently in ninth place. In the sights now. But he got 14 laps to go. Plenty of time. Plenty of racing left to do. But I think it's as close as Andrew Johnson has on Aaron John Steele in a while. And Force India is still the team. Oh, contact. That's oh that could have cost him, but and the car held up though. Andrew Johnson trying to make a move, taking advantage of this. Not quite though. Looks outside. Fitzwater Senior down to the inside and another Aiden Shepard trying to do a little payback there. Shepard not liking that. Want to be careful. You have a good run right now. 
Don't blow it. Uh. Ultra lag. Porzinia is still leading the Constructors' Championship. Not a tight battle for that though, but for the Drivers' Championship, oh my god, they're just all over the place. Aaron John Steele, big move to take third place, almost three wide. Fitzwater Sr., you know, Aiden Shepard cuts the course and he takes third back just like that. Give the spot back. And he kind of did. He had a spot back. Alright, and he gets third. And he gets a right back. Look at this line of cars. Alexander Rowe also part of the mix. He could take advantage of this as these guys take each other out. And look at that. Look at the seven. And that knocks Andrew Johnson all the way down to eighth place because of that move. Side by side. Alexander Rowe trying to get there. It's what I've seen him being very aggressive here. Once again, up to fifth. Aaron John Steele to the inside of Shepard. Three wide over here for position. And who will come out on top? It will be Patrick Mew. He takes over. These guys getting together once again. These guys are not lining up. Championship or no. Andrew Johnson fighting hard. Wants to get that spot back. He gets seventh. I thought he was going to drive it in there and knock Matt Haas out of the way. He could have. But he didn't want to. But of course, smart. If anything, he should knock one of those Ferraris out of the way. Water Senior squeezes by again. Oh, got trouble. Alexander Rowe and Sammy Saber Jr. climbed on top of each other. But Sammy Saber Jr. is on top of Alexander Rowe. Another Red Bull car getting on top, and he's losing a lot of, lot of time. Shit. On board. Sammy Saber on the. Uh, yep. That thing is a ramp. It's the third time we've seen today. And again, a Red Bull car is right underneath. And Sam Saber Jr. once again just cannot catch a break. No damage, no serious damage. They stay on track. 11 and 12th. Alexander Rose Championship. Hopes are very slim now. Nothing's official until they drop that checkered flag. Brad Chesson's enjoying a 6.7 second lead over Tony Newman. There's Aaron John Seal in third. Patrick Mew, Aiden Shepard, Matt Hall, Fitzwater Senior, Andrew Johnson, Mitchell Collins, Max Anderson. I don't think they can afford a race where they can finish behind Aaron John Seal again, and he's second now. He's raising the wheels off of that. Keep an eye on Andrew Johnson here. This is bound to make some insane move to get out in front. He's gotta try something here. 
Oh my god, he got, he got knocked out of position. It's his turn to do the same. Take it easier, no pressure. Do these corners. Yep, there you go. Look at them up there. There's beating and banging and locking up. A little bit of an over, overdriven it just a tiny bit. It's okay. He's still with them. It's alright as long as you're with them. If you know the curb rings are dangerous going to the corner, you gotta take as much as you can. Back to our TV cameras. It's a helicopter shadow because they fly by. Aaron John Steele is 3.5 seconds back. Last time we checked, Brad Justin had a 6.7 second lead. And Aaron John Steele is cutting it. Oh, kind of lost it there, I think. Is that a skid mark? Or... Okay. Ten laps to go here at Coda. Third place is all the way back here with uh, Fritwater Sr. now on his inside of Tony Newman and he clears him before entering turn one over the big turtles and Newman gets it right back and he's clear. You can see the skid marks they leave going through the curbing, going through the corner. And Fitzwater Sr. steals it right back. Matt Haas will take fourth. Andrew Johnson trying to make a pass here. Shepard moves up to sixth place. No, I'm making a move through the turn uh, 13. Shepard inside, Tony Newman, oh, they're going to make contact, wow, they didn't, even if they, if they did, it was just barely a touch. Off oh, from you trying to get through, Andrew Johnson, couldn't take him three wide, Aiden Shepard hangs on to six, Mew trying to go again on the inside, and this time he'll get it. Mew's being aggressive too. Back early for a second here. Four and a half seconds still. Drop back a bit. Brad Tristan enjoying this. Nine laps. Can he do it? Can he hang on for nine more laps for that first A class win? No one has DNF'd yet. There's row 20th now. Kind of a disappointing day. Definitely. Unless, of course, a miracle to, were to happen for that team. That's Water Senior in third. Trying to go for a lead for a second. For a second straight podium finish, Matt Haas, Tony Newman, Patrick Mew, Aiden Shepard, Andrew Johnson. Onboard cam once again. Say how he's doing. Does he not have the car or is he just saving it to the end? Losing a bit, but still within DRS. And Johnson is struggling a little bit. Maybe. But we'll see when these final closing laps. I think when it's five laps to go, it's go time. There's John Steele, five and a half seconds, while Fitzwater Sr. in third. 
Let's see if we can chase down maybe a proud chest in here. And let's uh, hope it's better than Monza. I think these two will get together if they catch if they catch each other. It's Fitzwater catch up to Brad Cheston. There's a helicopter passing by once again. There's Patrick Mew squeezes through, takes fifth place. Aaron John Steele, we know he was a contender in the championship, for a championship in his rookie season. Although I don't think he didn't make it to the round of the championship four. But still had a good run as a rookie. Two wins, made it all the way to at least to the round of eight. Right now looking to extend his points seed even more. And looking for a championship. So 18 points for second. He is nowhere close to the fastest lap. Andrew Johnson, where he sits now, 8th place. He doesn't want to be that big of a points lead. It looks like Aaron John Steele is going to finish ahead. Oh, and he goes off the track! Huge mistake on Andrew Johnson. Oh, he took it way too hard, and he's lost a lot of time. Take a look at the replay. Right in. Okay, here's a different onboard cam. Do a little fast forwarding. What the hell? Oh, he corrected you. To the correct. Turn it to the right. One off the course. Try to get to the left. Locked up the brakes. He had no choice. That car wasn't turning. And finally, he gets it turned. Pointed at the right direction. Pointed back to the racetrack. Oh, you probably can't believe this. He's got to find a way to get back up there. Didn't lose too much time though. He could still not use, well, the earth is still available to him. But not the next time around, he's got to get to within a second. That Fitzwater Sr. He was closing on Aaron John Steele, and now he's five seconds back. And Aaron John Steele is closing in 1.6, almost 1.5. Seven laps to go. If he wins this, this is going to be huge, of course. Maximum points he can get is 31. Let's see where they sit in points, how many points they have. Aaron Johnson looking for win number two. He closed in. On Kenny Johnson at uh, Hockenheim and won the race, only leading four laps compared to like 20, around 20, for Andrew Johnson. Now he's going to try to do this in to Brad Cheston, or will Brad Cheston hang on? And Cheston does not want to be denied again. Not a good season for our champion, our four time champ of the entire league. And Aaron John Steele within DRS now, and it's on. Fuck. God, how did I... I managed to, to skip my own video. F I don't even know how. Should have the thing pulled up on the second monitor, but I don't have it. Okay, Aaron John Steele has 109, and Andrew has 102 entering this race. And oh, here he goes! To the inside, man, that was close. These two would have got together for sure if it was any closer. So seven point, seven point lead. Aaron John Steele has, and he's currently second, chasing down Brad Cheston. If he were to win this race, Andrew Johnson, he's up to sixth. Okay, six is not bad. So it's on for him. He's going for it with six laps to go. Still got some time to catch up to the others, and Aaron John Steele has taken the lead away. Brad Cheston, with that big lead he had for almost the majority of the race, is now gone. And he'll have to fight Aaron John Steele for his first win of the season. 25 points.
And he's pulling away. He's pulling away. Things are going to be down to those two. Alexander Rose in third. 84 points. Matt Haas, 74. Josh Rush, Kenny Johnson tied for fifth. 71 points. Mitchell Collins is at 70. Oaks with uh, 70. And at that point, uh, it's like no chance. A little, I went a little further. One second. Two second. Brad Justin cannot believe this. Losing touch with, the, with our leader now. He's still racing hard for the last podium spot. Aaron Johnson, uh, Andrew Johnson, who's now in sixth, locked up the brakes, a few laps to go. See if he can take advantage as these three guys just go at it as hard as possible. And Johnson just joining in the party. Gonna try to take him. Take them, by, take them one one by one or wait for them to make a mistake and crash into each other. But if he manages to finish his third, that's still pretty good. 18... No. Damn, I forgot. Get as many spots as possible no matter what. Even if Aaron John still wins this race, I'm pretty sure they could have. Sorry about that, guys. Interrupted. Pretty sure he still has a, a legit shot at the championship. Tony Newman now in third. Pull away from these guys. Many spots as possible. It's not over till it's over. And here comes Matt Haas. Getting a great jump on Fitzwater Sr. And, and Andrew Johnson trying to get through as well. Might get him here side by side. Yeah, there we go. He's got him. Johnson is just pushing it as hard as he can. Brad Cheston, 1.92 seconds still. Not letting him go over two seconds. Matt Haas, Andrew Johnson, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th. Johnson pulling away here. He has Matt Haas in his sights. Guys back here, here separated with four laps to go. And Brad Chesson coming, trying to come. Two seconds still, under two, two, one and a half. Oh, they're going to the corner. It's a big track with three laps to go. He's under two seconds here. Of course, he can't use DRS, but he's still got a fast car, maybe. Real heartbreak. Usually Brad Chesson is the one who's winning the races, and even if he isn't, it's going for championships. Well, he's come so close a handful of times here to the, in the series. Of course, Monza being the one that hurts the most. 1.4. Can still draft. And the turn one. He's going to be there. Three laps to go. See the other cars, but I don't think they can wave each other by. Matt Haas now, and Andrew Johnson has taken fourth. Oh, never mind, fifth. Back to fifth. And there's Brad Chest, and he's coming in. Once again, can he get that lead back? If he does, if and Aaron Johnson can't win this race, 25 and 18 points is a big gap. That would be big. And Brad Chesson, oh, he gave him a little tap. But he's on his rear wing. And he'll have this big, long straightaway to make a move. And there he goes to the inside. And he takes the lead. He'll get back to the racing line. Not quite. Thought to take the corner a little bit harder, though, but he's okay. And he got it back. He got it back. Second and fourth. 
Not football. It's not like I was saying that. Uh, I don't know much about American football though. Know a little bit. But Andrew Johnson closing in on Matt Haas for the last podium spot if he can. Matt Haas, who is could be a, a potential. Maybe we'll see what once where he finishes first. Because right now third place. I don't know if it's going to be enough to be have a a chance at a championship. But if he beats Aaron John Steele, it'll, it'll, it'll be a sure thing. Maybe? Nah, I'm not sure. Three second lead with two laps to go. Brad Cheston. Oh my god, how did he build up such a big lead already within the lap? Maybe Aaron John Steele is just trying to play it safe. I know, he wants to win. Big picture here, big picture. Because if they get, if they go, if they race for the win, they get side by side. They, if they take each other out, Aaron jo Andrew Johnson will say thank you very much. He'll take it. He'll at least finish third or second if they take each other out. And Andrew Johnson is trying to close in on Matt Haas at least. He's three seconds back with two laps to go, and Matt Haas is closing on Aaron John Steele. Oh, now he's got to fight Matt Haas. It's best to let him go. He's got the advantage. He'll pass him either way, most likely. That house could be a big dark horse here. No, he's not going to make a move on this long straight away. He's got two laps, but he looks at the inside. There he goes. Now he late, late pass. And he got it. Johnson is coming. Only 1.2 seconds behind. And with almost coming to a lap to go. Seven points separates these two entering the race, and here comes Andrew Johnson. Big run. Did Aaron John Steele use up all his stuff? He was racing hard, chasing down Brad Cheston. Andrew Johnson did the outside, got a crossover. Not quite. Nope. It looks like he was. He peaked. And this long front stretch also with DRS. White flag is out. One more lap to go. Here comes Andrew Johnson to the inside of Aaron John Steele. Trying to get there. Over the curbing. On top of each other almost. Oh, that would have been bad if these guys got together and he sweeps right by because he was forced to go off track. And Andrew Johnson unbelievably has caught up and passed Aaron John Steele. And he's up to third. Brad Tristan has a two and a half second lead over Matt Haas. And Aaron John Steele loses another spot. Oh man. It's going to be one insane battle entering entering the season, uh, season finale here. Don't lose another spot. He drives it in there as hard as he can. He nearly clips Patrick Mew. Andrew Johnson's got cuts. Pretty comfortable right now. He's got no one behind him that can use DRS. These guys will fight it out for fourth place. Andrew, Aaron John Steele trying to get one back. Contact. Mew's not letting him go. So here's Brad Cheston here. Matt Haas still two and a half seconds back. Could potentially be a part of this championship. Aaron John Steele trying to go for it again. Side by side. He got fourth back at least. But Mew, he wants it. Ever wants it. But here we go. Checker flag finally for the 22 team. Brad Cheston will lead McLaren. They will win the United States Grand Prix as their super lag. Matt Haas second, Andrew Johnson will take home third, Aaron John Steele fourth, Patrick Mew fifth, Tony Newman sixth, Fitzwater Senior seventh, Mitchell Collins, Stepan Oaks, Kenny Johnson. As he just beats and Sam and Oz came for the final point points playing spot. And here comes the rest who don't get any points. Tough day for Joshua Rush. He did not need this. And uh, I guess it's safe to say his championship hopes are over. Once again, no points at all. It was a good run, though. It was a good run. Don't think anyone expected Josh Rush to make another shot to championship. But Brad Cheston, finally, he wins it. He wins it right here. At home, I think. You're American, right? Oh, okay. But alright, let's take a look at the four results.
So I'll finish that. So Brad Cheston wins it for McLaren. Matt Haas finishing second. So that was big right here for Matt Haas. Because he sits fourth in points. Don't know he'll be enough. But he might be able to get third out of this. I think so with Josh Rushing in 15th with no points for him. Andrew Johnson forced into his back. They had a couple of hiccups these fast, uh, past couple uh, few races. But they finished on a podium today. Aaron John Steele was able to catch up to Brad Johnson but lost it within a lap or two. And he finished as fourth. Losing to Andrew Johnson. But it was better than fifth. It looked like he was going to get fifth or sixth. Patrick Mew leading Haas today. And uh, Tony Newman with Williams in sixth. Zach Fitz, Zach Fitzwater Sr. not a podium but he still gets in points. Mitchell Collins with Haas. So Haas will be the, is the first team to get within points, right? Stepan Oaks with the McLaren, so both the McLarens getting in. And Kenny Johnson will lead for Senior, so three teams finishing in the top ten. Well, Ferrari, Williams, and Mercedes all alone. Sam and Ellis Ken in 11th. So, and the Noodles and Chris Kyle once again, Renault will not score anything. Uh, Aiden Shepard, a second Ferrari, a disappointing 14th after starting first. Joshua Rush, mm, well, his championship hopes are gone. But all I can do is just win the next race. Sammy Saber Jr., another disappointing one. He'll, six, he'll finish 16th. Max Anderson, the second Mercedes. The second, um, Williams, Jack Legacy. Alexander Rowe, again, up for another one. No championship for him, it looks like. He's at 19th. And Lightning Blaze, finishing in last place. So Toro Rosso, not a good day for Red Bull Jr. And all 20 cars finished today's race, and all of them finishing on a lead lap. Okay, so... Major drama in today's race. It's going to be a wild one once they enter Abu Dhabi. One more race to go. Who will be crowned uh, champion of the A-Class, the uh, Formula A-Class Series Championship? And, and well, my, the, the series name is not really good. A-Class? Just call it Formula A. What's wrong with me? But anyways, one more race to go at the Yas Marina circuit. It'll be... Uh, Aaron John Steele and Andrew Johnson, the two key contenders. I don't know about Mahas. We'll see when we calculate the points. But until then, uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see the more detailed race results and the point standings. So one more race to go. Yas Marina Circuit. We'll see you there.